Hello, my name is Jordan, and today we are looking at the political process. Now, where we left off, we had just completed our first year in office, and we were just about to set the city budget for the next year. So let's go ahead and start on that. Um, I don't think there's too much we want to change. So we'd be running a surplus. Now we did have, we did have a request from the corrections department to increase funding for recidivism programs. It looks like we have the money to do that. So let's go ahead and do that. Taxes. Okay. We could probably do emergency homeless shelters as well. Letting me click. Okay. <laughs> How would we? Hmm. Well, I guess we'll move on. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else that we really want to change here. We have the city running pretty good. Um, in a pretty good way. Let's... We do have a lot in the Roadway Trust Fund. Maybe we should build some more roads. And we'll submit our budget. All right, and now all of our bills are going to come through. All right, and we're going to zip through to the next year. Let's see. Yes, that will, that will reduce the number of people in the correction system, which will reduce the strain on the budget. have to support this given the the area that we're in okay okay so what is ooh we could run for senator Okay, so we could run for governor, senator, or state representative. Now, we don't have very many political points to run for something like governor or senator, but it's saying that we have a pretty good chance of winning if we do run. I think... I think we'll run for governor. So let's see here. Governor. 
Yes. Okay, this is our guy. And let's see. Economic priority, increase the minimum wage. It's always a winner with people. Um, poverty. And Hmm. What do we want our third one to be? How about... I think we'll go with crime. Reduce total crime. Yeah, reduce total crime. Continue. All right, so we need events. Uh, automate events. All right, so we can't be doing 100% fundraising. Um, hmm. math is, does not seem to be correct. All right, we'll just do that. Um, yes, we will do some interviews. Yes. Okay. And what do we have? Yes, so we have quite a bit of money. What does our opponent look like? Ah, we saw his name earlier. Okay. Do 50,000 a week. Open all the field offices. Okay. Phone banking, 50-50, yeah, we'll do 50-50 phone banking and fundraising. And train all staff. Let's see. And then we'll conduct our baseline poll. Okay, continue. Ooh, we have much more name recognition. That's good. He has a better approval rating, though. So I'll have to deal with that. And better enthusiasm. Okay. So this is not going to be a cakewalk like the last one. Alright, so let's 
do one round. Okay. Create city budget. Um, wow, look at that trust fund. Okay, we'll just submit it as is. We're getting out of this office anyway. Okay. Um, let's do that one. And that one. And next turn. Okay. So let's go to week eight. New challenge. Oh, we don't have time for these right now. We are running a campaign. Oh, we overshot week eight. Okay. So let's reduce the amount of marketing down to 17,000. And then let's run another poll. Name recognition, approval, intention, policy support and enthusiasm. Okay. Ooh. He got that name recognition up there. And we are currently losing. But they support my policies more. Okay. So what we need Let's do a little bit of this, a little bit of this. Reduce this down to 35. Okay. Do I have personal funds to donate? I do. We're all in. Okay. Ninety percent. Actually, I think we need to change this. This door knocking is not the way to go. And that. Oh boy, that's a lot of cost. Poof. Yeah, we can't, we can't keep doing that. We don't have enough money. Okay. Let's get to... Next week we'll run another poll. Might need to... Add another marketing campaign. Let's do television, general... Taxes, general, tax, and continue. So the reason I want to run a taxes ad is because I see we're losing on that issue. Continue. And, uh, well, actually... We may not want to, because the support is so low. 
But we could talk about... Well... Okay. Oh, you can... Interesting. I didn't know you could change the difficulty in the middle of an election. Alright, so we're at... Yeah, we want more, more money in marketing. Let's put that at 50. Continue. Yes, even more money in marketing. Um, probably more like 150. We have five weeks until the election. The primary election, that is. Yeah, we're seeing some effects. Okay. Let's run another poll. See where we're at. We only have three weeks. Okay. Ooh, that is close. Okay, so we can't we can't let up at all. Yeah. All right, well, this is just going to cost us, and we still might lose, but we'll see. All right. Well, we're going to see how we did. We're still mayor if we lose this, so it's not a huge loss, but... It's an opportunity it would be nice to get. Looking good. Whew. Wow, that was close. All right. So we are the candidate for mayor. So now we can marketing, automate marketing. Drop this way down, maybe 20,000. And maybe remove taxes. Well, let's remove that. That was direct mail. We want a television ad for minimum wage. Min wage ad. We want that to be our focus. Okay. Continue. And events. Uh, automate. Yes. We want lots of fundraising. Okay. Excellent. So let's see. Next turn. First, let's see here. Yeah. All right. So we're making some of that money back. Let's conduct a poll. And continue. Okay, so we're pretty comfortably in front at the moment. That's good. That's really important. Excellent. Okay, so these. Uh, when you're running for a larger office, you have the opportunity to do like joint fundraisers and joint rallies, and they are always more effective than other things you can spend your time on, at least in my experience. So attend all fundraisers, 
46,000. And we get political points, which are awesome. Tendal rallies. Excellent. Now we'll just be clicking a bunch of buttons until we get to the election. Healthcare. We might want to run a healthcare because people support our our healthcare policies. So let's automate add television general health general health ad. Excellent. Uh, not that much though. Continue. Um, we're up to, okay. So we can definitely spend more on marketing. Let's do 40,000. Continue. And next. All right. Yeah, he's going to run lots of attack ads against me. He kind of has to because he's in a bad spot. But I think we're just fine. Okay. It'd be nice if I could automate that part. At least there's an attend to all button. Okay. And 15 weeks away. Let's run another, another poll. So again, we're trying to not spend that much money because we want to build up money now for a future election. So like if we ever decide to run for president, um, that'll be very expensive and we'll want money to get started. Um, and it's a really good idea to build up some of that money in these local elections where you have a pretty good chance um, and you don't need to spend as much. See, we started with less than this at the beginning of the election. We're going to end this election with even more than we started. Down here, uh, he is spending some money to hit me on taxes and healthcare. Mm -hmm. I think we'll be just fine though if the polls are to be believed. So let's get down to five weeks away and then we'll run another poll. And if we're still about 56% on voter intention, then we can kind of just cruise, cruise in. Seven weeks. Okay, it's five weeks, poll data, conduct a poll. All right, continue. We're actually gaining ground. That is awesome. All right, so I think we're going to be just fine. Okay. Three weeks. Um, yes on the issues. Now we're going to get the questionnaire. Yes. All 
All right, election time. Not doing quite as well. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Awesome. So we are now governor. Uh, let's <laughs> go to the right screen. Um, no. Yeah. School board, city council, mayor. All right. Cool. And welcome to your first term as governor. So we'll pick our cabinet, take a look around, and end the episode there. Um, I'll keep this person. Oh, yes. 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 5.99. You? Yes. Okay. Secretary of State. Department of Transportation. Treasurer. Housing. Oh, these are all for mayor, which we're not going to be anymore. So we'll just exit out of those. And let's take a look. Oof. Things only get more complex the bigger the office. All right, so we want to increase minimum wage. Uh, minimum wage, here we go. Let's increase it to 15. Um, well, let's do 12.50. Excellent. Awesome. All right. Well, that'll be it for this episode. Um, next episode, we'll go through a few years as governor and kind of see some of the intricacies that happen when you actually have a legislature to deal with. So I just submitted a bill. Uh, but it'll probably be changed in committee before it comes back to me. So we'll see how that works and a couple of other things. Uh, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time.